Good morning, YouTube. Josh, Blue Collar Biceps. I'm back. It's been a long time and I haven't been uploading and I need to get that first video out to get myself back in the swing of things. I tend to, I don't know, get into something sometimes and honestly just start to like lose motivation or fall off or like, you know, I just kind of remember that goal while it's right in front of me and it's present and then like it kind of slips to the side and I need to implement more um, habits that are going to help me stick to my goals. So that's just picking up the camera, starting to film and putting more videos out for you guys that might be helpful, whether it's HVAC, fitness, bodybuilding, you know, this is just going to be, you know, my life from here on out. These videos I put up, I have a baby girl on the way, so that's crazy. That's going to be quite the experience. My wife's going to, she's eight months right now, so she's super excited to be having a little girl. I am as well. And I don't know, man, a lot of life, life changes, life updates. Anyways, I'm here at an HVAC call right now at an orthodontist. I'm going to see what's going on here. Uh, upper level is not cooling is the complaint. I haven't worked here before, so let's go see what's going on, guys. All right, we're going to grab the 12 volt impact and my TP4B. This is my service troubleshooting bag. Let's go see what's going on. So, so the fan is running, the lines are not very cold. Gotta go see what's going on at the condenser. All right guys, so the unit right up there, I gotta go check it out, the condenser, see what's going on. I gotta grab the ladder and see why it's not kicking on because we're getting no cooling. All right, guys, so we're up on the roof. This should be the unit that is not cooling. Gonna open it up, see what we got. We're getting power or whatnot, and see what's going on here. I got my impact, so that's cool. Alright guys, so I tested everything here for power and I'm pretty sure we're just going to have a bad capacitor because it's not starting the fan. The fan's getting power, everything off the board. So here's your capacitor right here in this unit. We're going to test this thing out and see what's going on. I'm pretty sure it's just a junk capacitor. Alright, so here's the capacitor guys. This thing I believe is junk. I just have to take off all the terminals and test the capacitor in either Basically, you can test it in ohms, which is resistance, or I have another meter that'll actually, that's good for it. I have another meter that'll actually test the microfarads, which is a little sim MF, you see microfarad right there, that's a symbol. And you can test in a specific microfarad setting to determine if these are bad or not. But I'm gonna test it out, get these terminals off, and we'll see what's going on. All right, guys, quick update. I'm just headed to the supply house. It was a 30 amp fuse that was junk on the disconnect. So just ohming out the fuses, I found pretty quickly that one of them was junk. I did notice up top, I only had half the power supply coming in. So uh, only one leg um, on 220, that's, you're not gonna have the adequate power to supply everything that runs on that condenser. So once I replace this, everything should be back up and running. Am I the only one whose supply house looks like it's from the 70s? Super rundown. Uh, Key New Hampshire needs a new FW web. All right, so they did have the fuse I needed, this 30 amp, 250 volt fuse. They had two in stock, so I got lucky. Anyways, I'm gonna go back and replace this. I did grab a new capacitor for the price of them because this one, all the, the symbols are all messed up. It's all rusted and I did pull it off to test it. I want to make sure when I put it back together, I get it on the right contact. So I do have a new capacitor here. It's an oval, but you can use a run capacitor as a start capacitor. Fan common and your hermetic, which is your compressor. So there's my capacitor. I'm going to go pop these things in and get this unit running again. And just like that, we're back. I'm going to show you guys real quick what the difference is on how to test a blown fuse versus a good fuse. 
So let's do that real quick. First step, I'm gonna set my meter to ohms. This symbol right here. All right, and next I'm just gonna to touch my leads together. You can hear the meter ohm out, which is gonna have a beeping sound. And I'm gonna test between each side. This is the good fuse because I'm hearing it ring out. And this is gonna be the bad fuse. I have no sound, just meaning I have no resistance between it. It's blown in the middle somewhere. And that's a good one. We're gonna pop this in and get this unit running. All right, in these situations, you need to be super careful because you have live power, but we're just gonna slide that new fuse in there without touching any of the live sides. I'll use my little insulated screwdriver to push the rest of the way. There we go. Fuses in, pulls this back up. Now we just have to install our capacitor. Ah, oh, shoot, I forgot. I need a new connector. Gotta go grab that. All right, if you guys wanna be smart, you just keep a little case with some of these different connectors in your tool bag. Normally I do, but right now it's not all stocked up, so I'm gonna grab one of these. As it just started up I just got to wire the hard start kit back into this capacitor but we have the fan everything's running the unit should stop icing up now down there now that everything's gonna be moving refrigerant just to double check that here in a minute but we're looking good just a bad fuse Beer can cold, baby. <laughs> That's what we want. I gotta strap this back in, just so you guys know I'm not a hack. I'm gonna strap that back in, and like I said, wire that back up. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go see how the air is flowing down there. So this customer also wants me to install an Ecobee thermostat, smart thermostat, upgrade their old one so we can control the break room while he's not here. We're gonna see if we can do that today and get the thermostat also upgraded. All right, we got everything strapped up and secured. Capacitor's in there nice and snug. Hard start wired back in. We're looking good.